So dear friends and uh, delegates from different Asian countries, I'm thankful to Asian Human Rights Commission for inviting me in conference on the torture and ill treatment and to represent the legislators from my province of Sindh. The Sindh is the province which first passed the resolution of separate land with the name of Pakistan from India. The people of Sindh have remained as the vanguard of, for democracy, rule of law, and human rights. With the continuous interruption from extra constitutional forces, the dream of democracy and equal rights were no fulfilled. I am from the Pakistan Muslim League functional, which was the creator of Pakistan and we stand for the elimination of all source of discrimination and abuses including the torture and ill treatment which were the basis for the creation of Pakistan. I am the member of Sindh Provincial Assembly for the past four and a half year and worked and introduced several legislations, bills, motions, urgent motions for the protection of, life, of rights of children, honor killing victims, entitlement for women, and 33% representation of women in all departments of government and corporations. I have presented private bills for child protection and domestic violence against women which is in process of finalization. I was associated with those members of the assembly who were successful in making joint legislation. I was also associated of uh, many of the legislators who are doing hard work in the assembly. I also uh, submit a resolution which name is Honor Claim, which is commonly known as Karo Kari, also in sexual harassment at workplace and entitlement of land in the name of women. I have also been declared as the most activist member of the assembly for promoting the rights I got third position in the Provincial Assembly out of 160 members in this year. So that is an honor for me and my party. Having said, thank you so much. Having said that I will now focus on the bad practices of torture in the country. Torture and ill treatment of detainees by law enforcement agencies is an endemic problem in Pakistan. In recent years, most of the reported cases of torture and ill treatment by the law enforcement agencies occur in pre-trial detention. In Pakistan, law enforcement officials perceive torture as the easiest and fastest way to achieve their goals. For example, extract information from the accused Third degree is commonly practiced at police station, judicial lockups, and jails, especially when accused is male. Pakistani women face the worst form of physical and psychological abuse from police officials, especially in police stations. From January 2000 to June 2009, 10,241 cases of police torture against women were reported in Pakistan. Around 70% women are subject to physical and sexual abuse by officials of law enforcement agencies during detention. In Pakistan, women are not fully safe in jails or even shelter homes. Most of them are abused by policemen 
and very people who are supported to protect them. Although there are more reported cases of custodial torture on men as compared to women. However, women in Pakistan are very vulnerable to law enforcement agencies' excesses for a number of reasons which included traditionally imbalanced relations between men and women, discriminations against women in all spheres of society. A recent report on torture reveals that incident on torture, especially in pre-trial detention, is also on rise. And from January to November 2010, 1,198 cases of torture during pre-trial detention were reported. I am not discriminating here that uh, I am ta talking about uh, women issues, but as you know, that there is only, I think, two parliamentarians. They, they, they are females and they are giving uh, uh, presentations. That's why I'm highlighting the women's issue. Torture in custody is expressly prohibited by the Constitution of Pakistan. 1973, Pakistan Penal Court and Criminal Procedure Court. Pakistan in 2010, ratified UN International Convention on Civil and Political Rights and UN Convention Against Torture, CAT. cat The country has neither enacted a law against torture in custody nor has any other initiative been undertaken to sensitize the law enforcement officials. During the continuous martial laws, the police and other agencies caught tremendous powers and it resulted in the fast growing practices of torture, disappearances, extrajudicial killing, rape in custody, torture of the women, and ill treatment with them in the custody. Child abuses and bribery and corruption. Torture has permeated into everyday life and affected an attempt to boost a genuine human development in Pakistan. The negative consequences can hardly be underestimated and hamper border development goals, and it has a direct tragic influence on the daily life of individuals, families, and communities. While Torture is hitting hard on poor men and women and excluded and voiceless population. It is also an instrument of terror and a fear factor for progressive forces in society. Take for example cases from Pakistan where physical and mental torture are used without any reservation in public space and against high-ranking officers in the judiciary against legitimate parliamentarians from opposition parties and to debtor courageous lawyer and media. My party, Pakistan Muslim League Functional, is very much concerned with the torture in custody and we affirm that we will support any initiative for the erection of torture in custody, whether it is under police or other law enforcement agencies. I want to remind you that according to 18th Amendment in the Constitution, the province, province has also got power of legislation. Therefore, I announce here that I will move a bill in the Provincial Assembly against the torture and ill treatment with the help of other colleagues, with the help of other colleagues in the assembly, and inshallah, Sindh would be the first province in the country which will have legislation against the torture. I also participate, I also participated in the round table conference in Karachi and was organized by the Hamdard University and Asian Human Rights Commission. And I have suggested some changes of roundtable conference 
in which we will finalize the bill i commit here that as the proposed bill is finalized i will submit it as private bill in the assembly and get it passed as early as possible we and our party will also work on the issue of rehabilitation of torture victim thank you so much